For some people, boy band superstardom just isn't enough. One Direction's Louis Tomlinson used to say he'd rather play for Doncaster Rovers. So earlier this year, he did. Now the multi-millionaire who once sold burgers in the club's ground is one of its new owners. Although I am young, I feel very ambitious and I really, really want the club to succeed. And, and you know, I've from growing up watching them uh, start at Bellevue and then on to Keepmo, um, yeah, I've kind of grown up with it and I've felt the passion and, and to, to have an opportunity to potentially make a difference in the club is huge for me. Louis' involvement with Doncaster Rovers so far has had predictable results. Screaming teenage girls where once there were die-hard football supporters. But the die-hards seem perfectly happy. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Amazing. Um, I think his idea is to... Uh... Emul em emulate Sir Alton John at Watford. The league tables help explain such pragmatism. In football terms, Doncaster Rovers were relegated last season, but One Direction made £70 million and their new owner went up the Wealth League with a personal fortune of £14 million. So this seems to be a club that has it all, an impressive stadium and a new star owner. But he's just announced he wants fans to supply £2 million through a crowdfunding appeal. On the streets of Doncaster, that's not gone down so well. It's his decision to buy it, so if he hasn't got the money to back it up, then he shouldn't be buying it. Can't he afford it himself? I don't support them. Man United. I've got better things to spend my money on than Doncaster Rovers football team. Thank you. Thank you. Louis Tomlinson seems unlikely to lose much sleep over where a few million pounds might come from. He insists he will be a hands-on co-owner of the club and says he just wants it to be successful. Gerard Tubbs, Sky News, Doncaster.